the challenge of the Yukon. On King! On your huskies! The wonder dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the challenge of the Yukon. Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserved law and order in the new Northwest country where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog King met that challenge, and justice ruled triumphant. Two officers of the Northwest Mounted Police stood before Inspector Grayson at Dawson headquarters. Sergeant Preston was slightly older than Corporal James, but both men were strong and clear-eyed, and both listened eagerly as the inspector explained the case on which he was sending them. Now, this man, Rusty Blake, is clever, and has boasted that he'll never be taken alive. As you know, he's responsible for the death of one of our officers, and he's wanted in Alaska for two or three murders. I'm sending you two men because you know the North as well as he does, and because of your outstanding records. Thank you, sir. The man who travels with Blake is called Rico. He's half Eskimo and half French-Canadian, and is just as ruthless as Blake. He knows the North like the palm of his hand. It's a very dangerous assignment. I'll be very glad to try it, sir. That goes for me, too, Inspector. I was sure you'd want it. Now, Norton... I want you to read it carefully and carry it with you. Well, thank you, sir. Have you any suggestion as to where Blake's trail could be picked up? He was last seen in Forty Mile. He has a sister in Moosehead, but never goes near her. Shall we stop to see her in Moosehead, sir? No, we've already tried that. She knows nothing about him. He has a reputation that's none too savory, but so far she's kept out of trouble. He's a drunkard. You won't get any information out of him. Then you want us to go straight to Forty Mile, sir? Yes, Sergeant. I think that's the place to start if you want to pick up Blake's and Rico's trail in the shortest possible time. Last reports. Me, I think you would be better if we don't do this bank robbery here in 40 miles, Blake. It's easy, I tell you, Rico. I know just how to do it. Nobody but the cashier is there this time of night. But we have money enough to get away without doing this. Nobody ever has enough money. We're going to need plenty if we want to hide out for a while. Hey, right, quiet. Don't get in, all right? Yeah, the lock is easy. I took care of that today. Here we are. Get your gun ready. Oui. Careful now. I got the door unlocked. I'll go first, we come. Who's there? How'd you get in? Put up your hands and don't move. Get that gold, Rico, all of it. No, who are you? (laughs) In case you want to know, it's Rusty Blake. But you're not going to be able to tell anyone. Why are you kidding? He don't try to stop us. (laughs) It's better this way. Nobody will know the bank was robbed till tomorrow. By then, we'll be a long way from 40 miles. Now, come on. I'll help you get this money together. It was lucky we came straight to 40 miles, Sergeant. This looks like the work of Rusty Blake. I was bringing my gold in. We met them two murderers on the... Howdy. And you're sure these men answered the description I gave you, Parson? Uh, and ugly. The other yes, was... Yes, we went over that two or three times. Shall we try trailing them, Sergeant? Of course. We started once. But if they took the trail south, we came from Dawson. You mean they must have hidden off the trail somewhere until we passed? There's only one passable trail this time of year. They must have heard us coming, Corporal. Probably heard the dogs. Parsons here was on foot with no dog team. They didn't know he was coming. Uh, you're right about that, sir. I met him coming around a bend. They heard their dog team, but they had no way of knowing I was coming. Do you think they knew we were Mounties? Anyone as clever as Blake would know. Remember, he killed one of us from ambush. Uh, if it's Blake, be careful, Sergeant. 
He'll kill you on sight. Just the way he did that poor bank clerk. We'll be careful. Oh, once. It's so dark. Don't you think we should camp now? Quit for Enrico. We gotta keep going. There were mounties we saw, I tell you. They'll be coming after us as soon as the town knows the bank was robbed. But they don't see us. We hide when they pass by. That's the difference between being dumb and smart. Remember the man we passed on the trail? We, oui, we. Oui. Could I forget? We could have told them he saw us. They get snow. Uh, me. You know the country around here better than I do. I know this country like my own backyard. We gotta lead them off our trail some way. We could fight one, Mountie, but not two. Uh, how you think you do this? You're gonna lead the trail. You go one way and I'll go the other. We'll meet at Bear Landing in three days. Nothing's wrong with King. Ho! Ho, your huskies! Oh, so that's it. They separated. King didn't know which trail to follow. One of them went to the left off the main trail. Looks as if we're going to have to divide our force. Kept to the main trail, maybe heading for the river. Mm. The ice is gone. If he gets there and get a boat, we lose his trail. I'd better go after him with the dog team. I'd be able to catch him. I'll take a pack and start after the one who left the trail. The next town is Moosehead. I will meet there at the trading post with two prisoners, I hope. All right, King. I'm King. Hun, your huskies. see you lying here, man. What happened? Man, come. Him want my boat. Me no give it to him. We have fight. Him try kill me. Your pack is torn. <sighs> he tried to knife you. Jump in boat, go. Does this pack belong to you, the one that's lying here? Oh, that his pack. Mm. Him drop it when we fight. Were there any supplies in your canoe? No, me just come. I can't get far without supplies. Uh, him eat bad medicine. Your arm's bleeding. Where do you live? I'll take you home. Uh, me all right. Not with bed. Me want get canoe back. We'll get it back some way. Don't worry. Then go fast in canoe. Get to Moosehead, maybe. Maybe get supplies. You sure you'll be all right if I leave you <coughs> right away? Should get there shortly after he does. All right, King. Up front, boy. On King! On you! trail of a man by the name of Blake. He was headed this way in a canoe. Looks as if he hadn't eaten for a long time. No, I think no one like that be here. Quite a big man, brown mustache, black eyes. No stranger. I believe this man has a sister here in Moosehead. Her name's Mrs. Tracy. Oh, oui, she's here in town. Huh? Pete here just come from her house. Yeah, there's a woman, but... Someone had to help her. Help her? Her husband, he has died. Oh. Nobody is sorry. He's no good. Someone had to build a coffin for him this evening. Nailed him in it. Burned him tomorrow. Is she there all alone? Yeah, she was two hours ago when I left. Besides, she don't need no company. She's glad he's dead. Says it's good riddance. Where's her cabin? He's the first one you come to if you come on trail from north. Oh, I must have passed it on my way into town. Now I'll go back. You won't be too welcome. Mrs. Tracy don't like anyone connected with the law. I'll leave my dog team here, Pierre, and take King with me. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm expecting Corporal James. Tell him I'm here. We, oui, Sergeant. I'll be back as soon as I've seen Mrs. Tracy. <laughs> well, here we are, fella. Stay beside me, boy. Sergeant Preston, Northwest Mounted Police. 
Open the door, please. Yes, yeah, I come in. You can put that gun down. I'm so glad you come. I wish you'd come sooner. Oh? What do you mean? There. Up there on the floor. Where? It's a man. Yeah. And he's dead. I shot him at the old Blake. He said you was after him. I thought so, I guess. He was a stepbrother. Hearing in here tonight, seeing the law was after him. I've been after him for weeks. I thought he'd head for here because he lost his supplies. Well, I told him to get out. My husband's lying there and nailed in his coffin. And I didn't want no more trouble. Well, he got mad and he said if I didn't hide him, he'd kill me. I picked up the shotgun and uh, when he come for me, I let him have it. Yes, I can see that. He couldn't be identified. Hey, get that dog out of here. I don't like dogs. I'll take that gun, you Mrs. Get... Ordinarily, he avoids dead men. What's wrong, boy? Get him out of here, I tell you. Not until we have a look at your dead husband, Mrs. Tracy. Oh, this dog of mine will watch you, so don't move. What are you going to do? I think you know. You didn't have much time, did you? you? Didn't even have time to hide this hammer. You didn't do a very good job of nailing this lid back on. Stop it! Stop it, I tell you! Come out of there, Blake, and come quietly. You will shoot! You will shoot! I won't. If you behave. That dog! Take him away! He won't hurt you unless you try something. Blake, get over there beside your sister. I told you it wouldn't work. Come in, Corporal. You're just in time to help me. Uh, it's Blake. It's Blake and his sister. This man on the floor. Did they murder him? No, this is one murder he didn't commit. He shot this man after he was dead and dressed him in his own clothes. They must have heard me when I passed this cabin on my way into town. We knew you'd kill me. If it hadn't been for that dog. It wasn't only King, Blake. And when King pointed out... Good boy, King. Uh, Corporal, your arm's in a sling. Afraid I was a little more accurate. Sorry I couldn't bring you back alive. Well, we'll have two prisoners to take back anyway. Watch them, King. These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit. And all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at this same time. Larry McCann speaking. This is the Michigan Radio Network.